Beijing, the capital city of China and home to over 20 million people, played host to 24 of the planet's best freestyle snowboarders at this year's Oakley Sean White Air and Style. This is the first top-ranked six-star event of the season. Just three years after making it onto the scene, Beijing is already an iconic stop on the World Snowboard Tour. Air and Style's iconic head-to-head -head format has seen many cruel draws over the years. This season's bib draw saw best friends and fellow Americans, Chaz Goldemon and Sage Kotzenberg, pitted against each other in the Sage first round. Kotzenberg. Uh, when I was going out there, the worst thing is I was like grabbing this one and the uh, girls like wasn't letting go, so I almost grabbed another one. Then I just went back to it. I was like, Chaz. I was like, are you kidding me? By landing this uber-stylish backside double cork 1080 Japan, Sage automatically took Chaz out of the competition. You lose some, you win some, but being best buddies makes it that much more painful. This year's Aaron Style was the crusher of favorites. Current World Tour Big Air champion Seppi Smits stomped his backside double cork 1080 nose grab in round one, but couldn't make it through round two. Seb Toots, winner in 2010, made it through round one with an almost perfect backside double cork 1080 mute, but faced a highly motivated Rupi Tonteri in the second round. With a seventh place finish, Rupi secured his lead in the big air and overall ranking of the World Snowboard Tour. Here's all the best riders in the world, so you just like put all in. Another favorite bites the dust. Mark McMorris smoothed his way through rounds one and two. The confidence is building and just hope I can keep it up, man. I'm having a lot of fun out here. But when facing Matthias Weisenbacher in round three, he struggled on the landing of his backside triple cork 1440 mute. What a great success for the young Austrian. Matthias Weisenbacher proceeds to the super final and places fourth at his first ever Aaron style appearance. The door was wide open for 16-year-old Japanese rider Yuki Kadono, but only the performance of a lifetime would see him on the podium. With variation and style, he marched through the early rounds, and with his jaw-dropping backside double cork 1260 mute in round three, he managed to enter the super final. With one last run to go, Yuki threw a huge backside triple cork 1440 mute, winning the contest and making him the youngest Aaron Style winner ever, a record previously held by snowboarding superstar Sean White. I'm happy to win the air and the star. <laughs> yeah. Next up on the five star calendar is the Copper Mountain Grand Prix before heading to Switzerland for the next six star event, the O'Neill Evolution. Hey, my name is Stahl Sandbeck. If you want to subscribe to more videos, check out here or watch some other ones right here. Oh.